My name is Neil Betty and I head up the wildlife monitoring team for this group of rhinos. Not only do I head up the monitoring team, but I'm also part of the security team, which means I spend days and nights in their presence. Right the way throughout the year, you will find us in the field tracking and monitoring rhino. As part of this service, during the dry months of winter, we bring supplementary feed to the white rhinos. Come rock. Come rock. Come rock. Come. Come rock. Rhinos have such an, a wide array of sounds, and as you can hear them coming into feed, you will notice the hissing sound made particularly by the females. You're getting in the water hole. This is a proximity warning, letting them know that this is their food and no one else should come near them. It's there, you fucking goose. White rhinos are predominantly grazers, which means they prefer to feed on grass. As the rhinos begin to emerge from the secure cover of the bush felt, you will see that there is very little ground cover. This is normal during the dry season. Some dry seasons are worse than others and the rhinos depend on that assistance to pull them through until the rains come back around again. I have been working with this particular group of rhinos for about eight years and in many ways, as you can see, I have become part of the herd. Males are generally last to get their feeding spot. Females dominate the dinner table, but it's not long until everybody is settled and the feeding begins. However, understanding the group dynamics is key when it comes to feeding this group of rhino. Safety is the primary concern for both us and the rhinos. Each rhino has its own character, some more nervous Hello. or confident than the other. And understanding the boundaries and limitations of the group is essential to getting this job done safely. Easy work. Rhino conservation for many reserves has become an intensive undertaking. Security teams and wildlife monitoring teams are the two big resources used nowadays to protect the species. If you love rhino and would like to support this group, it costs about 60 rand per bale. During the dry season, we need all the help we can get to support this group of rhino and continue with our conservation efforts into the future.